like to present you our own experience in the last year with uh, atherases um, as a treatment method for the uh, flexible flat foot in children. Um, base plan of valgus is a condition in which the longitudinal arch is um, flattened and the hind foot is averted, the forefoot is pronated. Um, the prevalence is different in two groups. The first group between two to six, um, the prevalence is about 60% and then it decreases to 20% uh, in age group, uh, eight to 13. It persists only in 3% of the um, um, adult population. Um, generally, we have uh, two groups, the rigid flat foot and the, the flexible flat foot, which uh, could be subclassified in as asymptomatic and symptomatic flexible flat foot. Symptoms could be pain in the foot and the ankle joint, fatigue after physical activity, sport activities, um, um, and secondary conditions as um, um, juvenile hallux valgus with a symptomatic bunion. The um, physical examination uh, begins with the inspection um, uh, of the shape of the feet and the gait pattern, and then um, specific foot and ankle examinations to check the flexibility or rigidity of uh, uh, the feet. Uh, general examination for the musculoskeletal system, uh, system to uh, exclude uh, joint laxities, and then the x-ray examination, which usually uh, performed um, in uh, standing uh, views and uh, also oblique views to exclude tarsal coalition. Um, pedobarographic or pedometric uh, examinations are also important for the uh, f further evaluation and follow-up. In the imaging, I would like to present you the relevant angles in the AP and lateral view. In the AP view, uh, we have the italical canial angle, which measures uh, the um, uh, angle between the axis of the talus and the calcaneus. Um, the first talometatarsal angle, TMT1, it measures the angle between the axis of the talus and a line uh, from the base of the um, first talometatarsal uh, joint and the central uh, of the uh, talar head. In the lateral view, uh, we have also the first talometatarsal angle um, between the axis uh, of the uh, talus and the first metatarsal bone and also the calcaneal pitch. The combination of the TMT1 angles in the AP and lateral view is presented as the TMT index, which was uh, first published by Professor Hamill and mentioned 2006. This is a good parameter um, uh, for uh, quantifying this deformity because we don't, uh, we are, we're not always having this deformity in both planes. Uh, the treatment uh, includes um, observation, which uh, legitim in very mild cases, exercises and physiotherapy in uh, cases of mild symptoms. Uh, um, in addition to shoe wheel modifications and orthotic support. Uh, surgery is uh, the, um, the treatment of option in very severe cases with the symptoms. Um, it includes soft tissue procedures, arthritis, and osteotomies. Um, this algorithm uh, uh, of the treatment was developed and published by Etzisch and Richter uh, from Nuremberg, Germany, 2013. Um, it depends on the grade of the deformity um, and the age of the patients. So they recommend that in grades three or, uh, and four, where the TMT index is between um, 40 and 60, or even more than 60, um, and in age groups of uh, eight to 12, the arteries is, is a good uh, uh, alternative. In cases of age above 12 years and uh, very severe deformity, they recommend osteotomies and soft tissue correction. This is a further uh, uh, um, uh, article, uh, or one of the recent articles published 2018. It's a work from, um, it's a, co a cooperation of five centers in Germany, Dortmund, Düsseldorf, um, Köln, Bonn, and Remscheid. Um, so the results are the, um, um, that 95% um, uh, of, the, of the patients were uh, very satisfied um, in issues of uh, morphology, pain, and activity. Even 96% uh, of, the, of, of the patients would uh, undergo the procedure uh, once again. Um, we cannot talk uh, um, uh, about uh, arthritis without mentioning uh, Maurizio de Pellegrin. Um, he published uh, this work 2014 in the Journal of Children's Orthopedics. He had a, a huge number of patients, more than 480 patients, between the years 1919 and 2012. 
he had similar uh, results uh, um, in issue, um, uh, of satisfaction. Um, this is Pellegrin on the right side. In the middle is Dr. Ford, Andreas Ford, uh, the head of the department in the, of orthopedics in Augsburg, where I um, had my fellowship in orthopedics. Um, so uh, he conclu uh, concluded that the arthrosis is an, is an optimal uh, technique for the correction of the forefoot uh, uh, for the uh, uh, flexible flat foot. It is simple. Uh, it 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 uh, can be performed rapidly, but the indication of the surgeon must be accurate. So the history begins in 1972 in Honduras. Um, uh, Pisani made his modification uh, through substitution of the cortical screw with the cancel uh, screw, and the current technique is uh, the use of a 6.5 uh, uh, cancellous AO stainless steel fully threaded screw. Um, in our technique in Hadassah, we uh, inserted the cancellous screw uh, in a size between 25 to 35 millimeters, 6.5, into the deepest point of Sinostarzi. It, it has to lie 20 degrees. Uh, to the CC joint. The head of the screw uh, lies always um, uh, optimal cases below the lateral process of the talus. 2019, we started with this procedure. We operated on uh, 16 patients, 32 feet, 14 females and two males. The mean age was 10.5. Um, all patients uh, underwent uh, bilateral atheroresis by the same surgical team. Um, Two patients underwent additional um, um, lengthening of the uh, gastrocnemius solis complex as a proximal gastrocnemius release. Two patients had um, additional deformity um, 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 and underwent chevron osteotomy, and one patient um, uh, underwent um, resection of an accessory navicular uh, bone. The follow-up was made by x-rays and podometric uh, examinations three months post-operative and once yearly. We had no cases of infections over or under corrections. All patients went back to school within one week and sport activities within four to six weeks. In our statistics, we, uh, statistic week, we, we, we saw that the TMT index was a, um, statistically relevant improved, also the TC angle. The calcaneal pitch wasn't uh, statistically relevant improved. This is um, one of uh, our first uh, cases. It's um, um, uh, a girl, uh, eight years old, uh, had a symptomatic flat uh, foot pain, especially after sport activities. She was very, very um, sport active. Um, you can see um, on the right side the hind foot valgus, too many toes sign. Um, the deformity is clear on the um, uh, radiographic imaging and the uh, podrometric uh, examination shows the pathologic foot pressure. Um, this is uh, one day after the surgery, this, uh, um, the, the patient is uh, um, already standing without any support, uh, clinically improved, acute correction. These examinations was made three months after the surgery and here we can see the improvement of all the parameters, even the podometric view is very impressive. So our conclusion is that the subtal arthrosis with the calcaneus subscrew is a good alternative to treat infantile symptomatic flat foot. It's minimal invasive procedure with a um, potential for the acute correction with a very low rate of complications. All patients are uh, then able um, to uh, be with um, rapidly after the, uh, the surgery and reintegrate in school and sport activities. There is no need for further orthotic support or physical therapy. Um, so we plan uh, the next uh, prospective uh, study in which uh, with a, with a long-term uh, follow-up after screw removal, which is usually performed after um, uh, bony maturity. Thank you very much.